Now, I was recently watching a video by an awesome channel called Major Hardware. If you're watching Major, hello. In the video, he takes an air cooler and then builds like a Perspex box around it and then via magic attaches a bunch of liquid cooling things to it and then turns the air cooler into a liquid cooler. It's actually a really cool video series. I'll have it linked in the description below if you haven't seen it yet and go check it out. And I thought this was really awesome. I also want to make air cooling better somehow. But there were two things about his implementation that makes it difficult for me. The first one, I am not handy enough to make Perspex into a watertight thing around an air cooler, I can't do that. So I'm gonna have to use a material that I'm more comfortable with, which is, well, cardboard, something that's featured quite a lot on this channel. And then the second thing that I wanted to do was cool the entire PC, not just the air cooler. But that seems really difficult. So then on a completely unrelated day, watching an unrelated video of people making DIY air conditioners out of cool boxes, I realized that's the way I need to do it. I need to cool the air before it goes into the PC. This may be quite an inefficient way of doing it, but it looks awesome. So then I got a cardboard box and some ice and fans and well, this is what happens. Now the idea is fairly simple. I'm gonna take this box and I'm gonna attach a fan to either end so that air gets pulled through and then I'm gonna fill it up with ice so that hopefully it cools that air and cools down the entire system. Although I do have a couple concerns with this. The first is, well, the size of the box. And the reason this is a concern is, well, it limits the amount of ice that I can actually fit in here. And it also means that the distance from the one end of the box to the other end of the box isn't that big. So there's not gonna be that much time that the air is actually gonna be exposed to the ice but this is a bit of a test run. So I'm just kind of trying out the proof of concept to see if this drops the temperature of the entire system. So let's attach these fans and they're RGB, so that I guess makes it better. We're gonna attach these fans and then we're gonna fill it with ice and see how it goes. There we go, we actually have the fans attached on either side. And as you can see here, I've even cable managed slightly. Now, it's very clear, oh, it's actually, it's actually upside down. It's very clear that this video is sponsored by Corsair. Actually, Corsair, if you're watching this, hint, hint. So now I just need to wait for the ice packets to freeze, then I'm gonna fill this up, attach it to the guinea pig PC, and we're gonna see what kind of temperatures we get. Now before we get that actual contraption going, let's have a look at what I changed in the PC to facilitate this whole process. So I've actually switched around the direction of the airflow because it's a really easy vent to get access to in the back as opposed to the other side, which is, yeah, it's a, it's a difficult funnel. So these fans are now exhaust. This fan is an intake. This fan I've actually disconnected and I'm gonna close this off so that we have a very straight uh, airflow through here. I've attached my temperature probe in here which will hopefully give us an indication of what temperature the air is that comes into the case, although I couldn't get it directly into the path of the airflow, so that may be fairly useless. And as you can see, I've actually reversed the fan on the air cooler as well. And then I've kind of fed all of this stuff out of here so that I can supply um, power to the fans and more importantly, power to the RGB. Now I'm actually gonna place the case flat down so that it's gonna be easy for me to align this a fan with this fan here and then we're also going to not block off block off that airflow what did you do today honey oh i don't know i just sellotaped a bunch of fans screwed to a box onto a pc case and then filled it with ice that's a completely logical thing to spend your time doing but there we go it's it's a completed configuration now i've kind of taped off around which is really 
it's, I had to do that, but it's still going to be very irritating because I'm going to have to detach it to open it to put ice in there because there's no actual ice in there at the moment because I want to do a control test, obviously, so that we can see how much of a temperature difference it makes. But it actually kind of looks surprisingly badass. Um, what I've also done is I've got the temperature set up here. So we have the temperature of the intake and of in the actual case. And as you can see, it's a bit hotter inside than it is outside. Let's turn it on and see if the RGB and stuff actually works and if the PC doesn't hate me. Yeah, I mean, there's a nice purple glow to it now. Um, and the PC's booted, which I don't know why it wouldn't boot, but everything's working. So I'm going to do a control test with it just like this, and then we're going to fill it up with the ice, and then we're going to see how it goes. Okay, so we're coming up on the 20 minute mark here, and as you can see, everything stabilized about with the graphics card as well, everything stabilized about 12 minutes ago because it's all air cooling, so it means that temperatures don't take that long to stabilize. Uh, but so now we're gonna fill it up with ice, and the goal here is to get the internal temperature as far below the external temperature as possible. Now these are the actual ice packs in question, so this is kind of what I ended up going with. And it's freezing water in Ziploc bags so that, well, they're reusable and that water doesn't go everywhere. Oh, this camera strap. And so that water doesn't go everywhere and destroy the box because I do want to use it for a different platform as well. So I'm actually gonna, as you see here, I'm gonna stack them like this and I'm putting plastic in the bottom of it again so that um, so that the water doesn't actually damage the box if there is any liquid that kind of perspires off the ice. Now these ice packets are actually so cold that they hurt to touch so I think it should have a good effect on the temperatures. One of my concerns here is that it's going to be really difficult for the air to actually pass through here but there's quite a bit of space on the sides so it means the air coming in here is going to hit the actual ice, be pushed around it and it means that it's going to have to interact with the ice and these plates are interleaved like this so there is actually space in between them as well. So let's see how well they actually affect the performance. I'm going to add a couple more though actually. Now this is so crazy. I literally just turned the PC on and the interior temperature has already plummeted compared to the rest, uh, compared to the outside temperature. And then for good measure, I also put a blanket on to help insulate the ice in there so that it doesn't melt that quickly. And then look at the actual uh, idle temperature is already down 10 degrees Celsius on the CPU. It's, it's pretty exciting because the idle temperature is actually below ambient at this point. Okay, so I've actually had to abort mission because it started making weird noises. Now, I can't feel any water anywhere, so I don't think any water got into the PC. But I'm going to have to check it out because the sounds were really weird and that's not something that it made at any point during the testing up until now. As you can see, there's a lot of melting going on here and there's actually kind of water getting everywhere in the box but it's just in the box so um, I hope none of it actually blew through into the case but I think we're gonna be okay. So as far as I can tell no actual water got into the PC um, so I think on that front we're good. Let me actually start it up to see if it still works Yes, it boots, um, so we should be okay. And just like that, I think it's kind of showed that the concept works because it was briefly glorious when there was a below ambient idle temperature on the actual CPU, which is 
I honestly think quite a win. I just need to work on my actual implementation of the actual ice cooled air intake into the PC. So let me know in the comment section below how you think I should change the design of the ice box to A, prevent moisture from getting into the PC and B, increase the performance so that the drop below ambient is even bigger. Now my main theory at the moment is that I think I should get a bigger cool box where I funnel air down into to ice and then back up so that the air actually comes straight out of the top. Hopefully that will help prevent um, moisture coming up with it. Don't know if that's how physics works or anything, but that's kind of what I'm going with. Again, let me know in the comment section below what you think about this idea. And with that, it brings me to the end of a fairly successful proof of concept and terrible implementation. If you liked the video, do like and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this one. I've got a video coming up where I'm going to build a PC in that box, so that's quite exciting and it's a good sign that the box is still in decent condition. I have a Twitter and Instagram account, so you can follow me there and until the next video bye bye